We have just learned that Dr. John McLaughlin, host of the McLaughlin Group, the political talk show, has died at the age of 89. A message posted on the show's Facebook page reads in part, as a former Jesuit priest, teacher, pundit, and news host, John touched many lives. For 34 years, the McLaughlin Group informed millions of Americans. Now he has said bye-bye for the last time to rejoin his beloved dog, Oliver, in heaven. The McLaughlin Group aired on select CBS-owned stations nationwide every Sunday. This past Sunday, because of his ailing health, McLaughlin missed his first show as host in 34 years. With me now by phone is former McLaughlin Group panelist Larry Kudlow. Larry, you were a panelist on his show. What's one moment that you remember most about him? Well, gosh, it's kind of tough to say. I was on that show regularly or irregularly. Uh, gosh, from mid to late 90s, early 2000s. I guess one thing I remember about John is he had me on a couple of times, and then he called me one day, and he said, we, we, we love having you on, but here's a few tips on how to be better. <laughs> okay? <laughs> I mean, it's for, you know, and look, I welcomed it. I mean, it was wonderful to be on, number one, great exposure and visibility and, and great fun. But he was helpful. In other words, for all of his curmudgeonly ways, he was very helpful, and he cared about folks. And, of course, he wanted to make his show the best show possible, which, you know, for several decades, it really was the best of the political punditry shows on Sunday. Long before there was a Fox News, Larry, McLaughlin was the known conservative voice uh, here on television. But with his passing, what will this election be like now without him on the air, especially the weeks leading up to November? Well, look, we will miss John. We will miss his show. We will miss his commentary. Uh, he was very sharp-edged, as you know. He had tough wit, but, you know, he'd go after conservatives if he thought they were wrong just as much as support them when he thought they were right. He, as you may know, was a speechwriter during the Richard Nixon administration a long, long time ago. How will it affect the election? Uh, I don't know. Um, he will be missed. That's about all I can say. There's so many of these shows now. Remember, when John started, there was no cable, okay? That came way later. And um, we probably will miss a conservative voice, no question about it. He may not have been quite so influential in recent years, but the reality is he will be missed by millions of people who were steady watchers. Larry, for a generation who didn't know McLaughlin, what would you tell them about him and his legacy? Well, you know... He was an indefatigable person. In other words, Sunday after Sunday after Sunday, they were taped on Friday nights. He always had an interesting and penetrating angle, you know, to a story that might have been playing everywhere, but he got below the surface. He brought stuff out that no one seemed to be able to do. I always, you know, you go on that thing. Remember, it was, it was taped, but it was live. He wouldn't tell you what he's going to ask you, so you always had to be on guard. I'm going to miss that. I think a lot of people are going to miss that. He shed light in different ways than almost anybody else. Larry Kudlow, former McLaughlin Group panelist and author of JFK and the Reagan Revolution, A Secret History of American Prosperity. Larry, thank you for your time. Thank you very much.